Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is the fifth part of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In the previous part we made it possible to select between being an employer and a job seeker when you signed up. In this part I'm going to make it possible for the employers to add jobs from the dashboard. To achieve this we need a view, a form and a template. I will begin by creating something called a model form. A model form is a class from Django that makes it really easy to generate forms based on a model. So first I can create a new file called forms inside the job app folder. Forms.py You can call this file whatever you want, but forms.py is easy to understand and it's the recommended file name for creating the forms. So first I import forms from Django. From Django import forms and then I need to import the job model since we're in this folder I can just say from dot models import job and then I create a model form by saying class add job form this is the name and pass in forms dot model form and then I need to add another class in here called meta Class meta, this is options for the form where I pass in which model I want to use, which is job, and what fields from the job model I want to use. And I want to use the title field, the short description, and long description. The other fields like created at and change that will be filled in automatically. And created by, I need to add this manually. So then I can just save the form. And this will give us a form with three fields. One text field and two text areas. Using a model form makes it really easy to validate the data, saving it and similar. Okay, let's go to the view and create the view we need for this. So inside views.py below the job detail I say def add job request and here inside here the first thing I want to check if the user has submitted the form or not to do this I say if request dot method equals post and if it is I create an instance of the form form equals add the job form and pass in request.post. This is the data that comes from the form. When you got this data, I can check if, if it's valid by saying if form.is valid. And if it is valid, I create a new job by saying job equals form.save. And in here, I need to pass in commit equals false. We need to save it without committing it to the database. This is because the created by field is required and we will get an error if you try to save it now. So then I can add the user by saying job.created at no created by equals request.user and job.save. So now we should have a new job in the database. And then I want to redirect the user back to the dashboard. Return redirect dashboard if the request method is regular or get we can just a form equals add job form and just have it empty like this and then we say return render request job slash job add oh sorry add job.html and then we pass in the form. We have a couple of more things we need to do here. For example, we need to import the form from dot forms import add job form. We also use a redirect function, so we need to import this. This is a shortcut, so you can just append it behind a render. But what I also need to do here is to set this to at login required. This is a decorator from Django that we also need to import. 
from django.contribauth.decorators import login required so if you try to access this without being logged in you will be sent to the login screen great so now we need to create a template to show the form so in here we say add job.html and I want this to extend the base template extends core slash base.html block content and block and here I want the title h1 class title add job then I create a form form method is post action can just be dot and then I pass in the CSRF token as usual form dot s p it's make this makes it so easy to show a form but it's not very pretty and then I can create a button below dev class field dev class control button class button is success so it's nice and green submit and that was it here and then I can just copy this view and go to the URLs file to import this like that path jobs slash add add job name add job so if I now go here go to jobs slash add you'll see that we have the form here it's not very pretty but I think it's going to work at least first job short long and submit Okay, yeah, so now you see that I have listed out the first job here. Perfect. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Okay, I just want to change the template for the view a little bit, not for the form, because it's not pretty at all. So first I want to check if there are errors in the form. If form.errors if so I want to loop through them for error in errors in sorry form.errors and I show div class notification is danger and then just print error like this and the loop and, and if then I want to show the title field div class field label title div class control input type text name title ID ID title and I can just copy this For the short description, text area class text area name short description, and the ID is ID underscore short description. Close the text area. Forgot to add class input here. Then I can copy this replace with long long and long and save so now it should look better if I go to jobs add yes looks much prettier now perfect adding all the URLs in the main URLs file isn't a very good idea this become very messy so I want to create a new URLs file inside the user profile app so inside the dashboard folder here create a new file 
called urls.py I need to import path and include here from django.urls import path include and then I need to import the views from the dashboard from dot views import dashboard and then I create a new URL patterns list path it's going to just be empty because dashboard will be added in the URLs in the other file I will show you very soon dashboard name dashboard save and then I can go to the main URLs file and instead of saying this I can remove and then I just include apps dot user profile dot urls so when you go to dashboard and something after here you always use the urls from here so i need to import the include here as well and save so if i refresh now everything is just like it was before you can also do the same for jobs so if i just copy all of this and then go into job new file urls.py import let's see what the views here are called add job and job detail add job job detail and then i need to see what they are called here slash job and slash this okay Can copy this job detail and path add add job name add job and save and then I can import this as well inside the URLs for coding pi as a path jobs include apps dot job dot urls so i can remove these two don't have to import these views anymore and save with a clean structure like this things things become much more easier to maintain and similar and that was it for the fifth part of the series if you liked it please click like below and share it with your friends if you want notification when the next part is published, you need to subscribe and remember to click the bell as well. See you next time.